There's this other phenomena that occurs at extreme altitude, so-called high altitude deterioration. And people sometimes talk about the death zone. What is the death zone? What does that mean? And part of what that means is there is this altitude above which we no longer acclimatize. Or if we do continue to acclimatize, the deleterious effects of high altitude deterioration supersede any benefit from continued acclimatization. That's why climbers in the modern era, for example on Everest, back in the olden days they would continue to sleep above the South Col. But in the modern era, people sleep at the South Col and then try to run up and down to the top of the mountain and back again. Because sleeping at higher altitudes, you're basically just dying up there. So what is high altitude deterioration? You're just losing energy, you're losing weight, and you're slowly dying and there's no benefit in spending extra time in the death zone. What is the death zone? There's no absolute definition, but at some extreme altitude, about like the South Col on Everest, 25, 26,000 feet and above, high altitude de deterioration really takes over and becomes more of a problem than any benefit from continued acclimatization.